Hey guys, Paycheck here. For today's video, I just wanted to go over how to use Path of Building to find the best possible megalomaniac jewels for your build for the best possible prices. So basically just trying to get the biggest bang for your buck when looking at megalomaniac jewels, all right? So first let's take a look exactly what we're after. Megalomaniac jewel is a unique jewel, comes from Simulacrum at difficulty four says it allocates two to three random notable passive skills, okay? So that is what we're after. Now, a lot of times what will happen is you'll be following a build guide and the build guide will tell you, hey, this is going to be the best jewel for you. You want a megalomaniac with this jewel node. This is what you gotta get because that's gonna increase your damage the most or whatever the case may be. So people will look up that megalomaniac jewel with that node and lo and behold, the thing is like 50 divines or 70 divines or 100 divines and that's just for a single mod. Well, with this strategy, you're going to get a lot more options that can sometimes be just as strong for a fraction of the price. Usually by doing this, you can expect to get a megalomaniac jewel that has anywhere between usually like 70 to 90% of the power of the top uh, megalomaniac jewels. But for that power, you're only going to be spending anywhere between 10 to 50% of the cost of the more uh, desirable ones that everybody wants, right? So uh, to do this, you're going to have Path of Building open. You're gonna put your character into Path of Building. So when your character is in Path of Building, all you're going to do down here at the bottom, there's a little node, a little checkbox that says show node power. You're going to check that box and just to the right of that is a little box that has a lot of different options for you. I'm wanting to increase my character's damage, so I'm going to select my hit DPS is what I'm going to be looking at. So, after you select what you're wanting to upgrade, you'll click show power report, all right? POB is gonna take a couple seconds to do some calculations for you, and then any moment now, there's going to pop up a big list that looks just like this, full of every single node on the skill tree that upgrades my character's hit DPS in order from best to worst, right? So. At the very top of this list, we see Wildstorm. And oh my goodness, Paycheck, that is exactly the node that my build guide tells me that I want. Fantastic, all right, Wildstorm. Let's get a megalomaniac with Wildstorm. Let's take a look, just that node, just that one. All right, well, 43 divines, 45, 49, 50, 60, 80. Okay, so pretty dang expensive. Probably, usually somewhere around 50 divines or so, all right? So 50 divines, well, damn it, paycheck. That is way too expensive. I can't afford that. I don't wanna spend that much currency on that. So I can't upgrade my character, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quit because my next goal is unattainable. No. So instead of that, you look here at this power report, we see that Wildstorm gives my character 106,906.9 hit DPS, okay? Well, right below that, we see another node that actually increases my hit DPS by almost just as much, 101,683.1. So let's take a look. We click Barbaric Strength. What does that give me? It gives me crit damage bonus, increased mana cost of skills, which for my character, that actually doesn't matter, and then plus 10 strength. Okay, that's actually great for my character. So let's take a look at that. What would it cost to instead get Barbaric Strength? Well, let's unselect Wild Storm, select that one. Wow, okay. So nine divines, 10 divines, 12 divines. Hopefully I could get one for 10 or less. That would be amazing. So, wow, so let's just say 10 divines. So for 10 divines, I can get 101,000 hit DPS or for 50 divines, I could get 106,000. Well, if we're looking at the biggest bang for my buck, I could get 95% of the power for a fifth of the cost if I were to go with this other node on a megalomaniac instead, right? So 
that's a great example for you. But let's just say, okay, barbaric strength doesn't work. I don't like that it increases my mana cost. Let's go with a different one. Let's look at pure chaos. 11% damage is extra chaos. That works great. Let's take a look at that one instead. Pure chaos. 17, 18, 28. Hopefully I could get one for 18 divines, but even if we said 28, okay, basically close to half price of the wild storm. So 50% ish of the cost for in this case, somewhere around like 90% of the power. So half the cost, 90% of the power. That sounds like a great trade off to me as well. So that's another better option for me. And then let's go one final example here. What was that one called? Falcon Technique. Let's take a look at Falcon Technique. 12, 14, 15. All right, sounds fantastic. That is roughly about 80% of the power for somewhere around a fourth of the cost. Again, that sounds like a fantastic trade-off. So you can do this with really any, any type of character, anything you're wanting to increase. If you're wanting to increase your hit DPS, if you're wanting to increase your attack speed, uh, your maximum hit uh, to avoid one shots, anything that you're wanting to increase from your Megalomaniac Jewels, using this node power and power report in POB will help you do that, all right? And then you can start looking, you know, if you select all of the nodes that work for you. So these are all the nodes that I found that I like for my character, right? So I pull this up and look at that. Alloc allocates smash and allocates beef. I'm about to buy that right now for one divine. Uh, I will say as a personal trainer, it's never a bad idea to allocate beef, right? Um, but so that's just an example. I can get all of those nodes. I already know that all those nodes uh, that I searched for are on this list. So they all help out my character. So hopefully you guys can use this information. I know it's helped out a couple of buddies of mine. Hopefully you guys can use this information and uh, get some better deals on some items that are gonna upgrade your characters while not breaking the bank, all right? So hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.